everybody, welcome back to another video, and today we are talking about the Eternals. So, yeah, we're going to be talking about the Eternals. This will be a spoiler for your view, so if you haven't seen Eternals, that's okay. I will try my best to avoid spoilers. And I'm just going to tell you what I thought about it. So, let's get started. I There are no Eternals in this game, at least that I know of. So I just went with Black Knight because, you know, comic books, and then Ego because he's technically a Celestial. So, you know, let's go with that. So let's start off with saying, I, I know a lot of people have been very negative about this movie. Because, like, everybody here, there's either two, there's always two different opinions, and it's always those two, it seems like. They either absolutely love it and they think it's the best movie in the MCU, or they absolutely hate it and think it's the worst movie in the MCU. I disagree with both. I don't think it's the greatest MCU movie, not nowhere near the greatest, but I don't think it's the worst. Like, I've heard people say it's worse than Thor Dark World. I would disagree with that. But, yeah, there, like, there's some cool stuff in it. Like, the visuals, the CGI, the, the visuals are awesome, and they're probably the best part about, one of the best parts about the movie. Because it does look awesome, especially all the scenes where they're in, like, space. And you even see one shot of it in the trailer. If you remember in the trailer when uh, Dan Whitman is like, is like, nice to see you. who told you you couldn't interfere unless deviants were involved? And Cersei, I think is her name, was j turns around and looks, and you can see one of the Celestials. That's one of the shots they show in the trailer. There are more shots similar to that, and they look awesome. But I also really enjoyed the characters. Expect. Especially like s some of them and it made me care about them, which I was surprised about especially because there was very little time to develop them But I still like really enjoyed them and I want to see more of these characters. It's just I hope they get better stories and The cast was amazing. I feel like they did a great job choosing the actors and actresses to play these roles I feel like they did a great job at that. I really enjoyed them in this movie and This could be a good or a bad thing depending on how you feel about the MCU formula, but it de definitely does feel different from an MCU movie. I've heard some people say that it feels like a DC movie, like Batman vs Superman, and I would agree with that. It does kind of feel like that. It's a bit darker than the other MCU films. And it brings up all these questions and stuff, like these, like the Batman vs Superman. And I, I, I didn't mind it. I didn't mind Batman vs Superman. For me, Batman vs Superman is like one of those middle of the road, right there in the middle DC movies. And I would say the same thing about this Eternals movie when it comes to the MCU. It's right there in the middle for me. And, and there were also some twists and turns and surprises that some I saw coming. Some actually did surprise me. They were, I was surprised about that. But probably the biggest problem about this movie is that they were trying to fit this huge, probably what should, what should have been like a four hour long movie or, you know, two movies or a Disney Plus show into one two and a half hour movie. And one of the biggest problems that I had with the movies was that not only it felt too long and it felt too short. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Where, like, in the movie, it, when, in the movies, I was getting kind of like, kind of like, oh, okay, this feels like it's going on forever. But the story needed to be long. So I, I personally think they should have done one of two things to fix this. Either one, split the movie in half and give it two a part one and a part two. And instead of having them be like two and a half hours long, have like part one be. Two, just two hours long because that's how long normal MC movies are and part two would also be two hours long Or you know have a Disney Plus show because they could have had like an episode for each Character if they wanted to but you know and Like that's I feel like is the biggest problem. There are like flashbacks in the movie too, and they're kind of confusing when Because of how they happen and I don't know. I, I just feel like that's some of the biggest problem with the movie is that in the pacing wasn't the best that was my biggest problem with the movie but you know I feel like they definitely should made this is one thing like the best the like the only reason I would say go see this in theaters is because of the visuals because literally besides the visuals I would I would say this should have been a Disney Plus show and that's surprisingly, because I'm someone who kind of was disappointed when they first announced Secret Wars was going to be a Disney Plus show, because I wanted it to be a movie. But now that I'm seeing how this movie turned out, I'm kind of like, 
maybe it's a good idea that Secret Wars is a Disney Plus show, because then it gets them more time to tell that story, and that story is an awesome, huge story. And, yeah, this story was okay. It was... It was okay. That's the best word to describe this movie, I feel. Because, like, I don't hate it like some people, but I also don't love it like other people. I don't... I have no idea how people say this movie is worse than Thor Dark World. I don't understand how Rotten Tomatoes is... The score is worse than Thor Dark World, but, you know... I guess that's just how it works. So, yeah. So, it... I, th I would say you can wait to watch this one on Disney Plus unless you really want to see those cool visuals on the big screen because that was the best part about seeing it in theaters. Uh, in but if you don't care about seeing cool visuals on a big screen, then wait for Disney Plus. Plus, if you have a big screen, if you own a big screen, then you there you go. <laughs> Especially now that Disney Plus has IMAX. If you just get, if, if they let Eternals be an IMAX movie, which I feel like they would, then there you go. Just w if you have a big screen, just wait for a Disney Plus, and you don't have to, and you can skip the movies altogether. But yeah, that would be what I would say. Watch it, wait for streaming, and then watch it. Unless you want to see cool visuals on the big screen. Yeah, and what did you guys think of this movie? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you think it was okay? Are, are you one of the people who agree that it's the best movie in the MCU? Or are you one of the people who agree that it's the worst movie in the MCU, even worse than Thor Dark World? Or are you along the same lines as where, what I think where it's okay, right there in the middle? Could be better, could be worse. I would love to hear what you think about this movie because it's cool hearing all these different opinions because some people hate it, some people love it. And I think a big reason, another big reason for that besides the, the p pacing and the storytelling not being the greatest is the fact that it does feel so different. Like, honestly, this is the movie that I feel like you could skip this movie altogether because even the two end credit scenes, even though they weren't bad, I feel like you could skip this movie altogether if you really wanted to just because it doesn't feel like a part of the MCU. But yeah. Thank you so much for taking time to watch this video. If you like this video, please hit like. If you want to see more videos like this, I'm planning on ma making a spoiler review. So if you do want to check that out. And I've done reviews for Black Widow, Shang-Chi, Venom of Therapy Carnage, and hopefully more to come. And yeah, thanks so much for taking time to watch. And hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.